Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my July favorites and I'm filming this on time. I'm really hoping that it goes up on time, but in my defense, I am filming it on time. Last month, or should I say like two weeks ago is when my June favorites went up. So I was very late last month, so I'm trying to be on top of it this month. I actually have a significant amount of products to talk about and none of them are makeup. <laughs> You guys know throughout the last couple of months, I've really just been sticking to what I know and what I love and what I know I love in terms of makeup. But I do have a couple of drink items. I have books, I have clothes, more lifestyle-y stuff this month. So if you wanna see what I've been loving, then let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start out with the tank top that I'm wearing, actually. These are from Walmart and they cost like between three and four dollars. They're phenomenal. I love them for layering. I also like to wear them by themselves. I think it's flattering on my body type personally. I know it kind of looks like I'm wearing like a muscle shirt, but I have them in several, girl, several different colors. I'm wearing the plain white one. I have this sort of mauve colored one. I have like a navy blue. I have an olive green. I have one that's printed. It's black with like pretty mauve cranberry color flowers on them. And I think there's also polka dots on it. Sounds kind of ugly, but it's actually really cute. <laughs> but yes, I love that they're not racer back, so I can wear them with a regular bra. I wear either a size extra small or small. The extra smalls are much more boobalicious for me, which isn't always a bad thing. Typically, if I'm wearing an extra small, I won't wear it by itself. It'll be for layering. I love to wear these to work because they're comfortable and I can just throw on my little sweaters over top of them, which honestly, I should have talked about those sweaters in a favorites video by now because I have them in three colors and I wear them all the time. So yes, I've been loving these and I've been wearing them constantly. So I am not, I'm not that big of a reader. I wish I was more of a reader. I've always wished that I liked reading. When I was in junior high, I loved the Click books, the Click series. I read those and only those. And then in my adult life, I have read maybe two books before now. But it would take me, literally it could take me over a year to finish a book because I would just go months and months without touching it. And then I discovered Audible, which I had heard a lot of bigger YouTubers talking about Audible in sponsored videos, things like that. I had never thought to try it. I never wanted to spend the money on it. I finally decided to bite the bullet and try it, and I am so glad that I did. The reason I wanted to start to get into listening to my audiobooks is because I live 30 minutes away from where I work, and I live two hours away from my parents' house, which I spend a lot of time at my parents' house and I spend a lot of time driving. I was really starting to struggle with listening to the radio or even listening to music on my phone. I was like, I know all the words to every single one of these songs. This drive just seems so, so long and daunting. I hate it. And Cameron started listening to podcasts a lot on his drive from home to work. And so I decided I have a book that I've been reading that I love, but it takes me forever and ever to finish a book. So maybe I should try Audible and start listening to my books while I'm driving to work. And I am so glad that I started because I can't stop. I have read three books this month. Three! That's insane for me considering I haven't read three books in the last three years or more. <laughs> I first started listening to the book that I was already reading, not using Audible. It's a phenomenal book. It is actually my mom's favorite book of all time. It's called The Purpose Driven Life. I am reading the sort of anniversary edition. It's called What on Earth Am I Here For? It's basically the same book. There's just a couple of added perks and things. It's by Rick Warren. I absolutely love it. It's phenomenal. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And I listened to the whole thing, even though I was already several chapters in. I re-listened to the first couple of chapters and then, you know, I finished the whole book from there. And I absolutely love it. After I finished that book, I got into more sort of inspirational nonfiction, if you will. They're self-help books. And I happened upon this bad boy. This is by Rachel Hollis, and it's called Girl, Wash Your Face. The little tagline is stop believing the lies about who you are so you can become who you are meant to be. This book is phenomenal. Again, I listened to the entire thing without even owning this hard copy. And when it comes to inspirational nonfiction, I prefer to read it, actually see the words, because I love to highlight 
and write in the margins and write in my journal, which is actually this book right here. So after I listened to the entire thing on Audible, on my drives to work, I purchased the hard copy. I just grabbed this off of Amazon. Basically, this book is very helpful for women, young women, old women, moms, non-moms. It basically, each chapter starts out with a lie that Rachel used to believe to be true. And she basically starts each chapter. Chapter two, the lie. I'll start tomorrow. And then she just goes on in the whole chapter to explain stories. Let me just go ahead and read you the little blurb because I'm sure that will explain it much better than I can. Do you ever suspect that everyone else has life figured out and you don't have a clue? If so, Rachel Hollis has something to tell you. That's a lie. As the founder of a lifestyle website, thechicsite.com, and CEO of her own media company, Rachel Hollis developed an immense online community by sharing tips for better living while fearlessly revealing the messiness of her own life. Now in this challenging and inspiring new book, Rachel exposes the 20 lies and misconceptions that too often hold us back from living joyfully and productively. Lies we've told ourselves so often we don't even hear them anymore. With painful honesty and fearless humor, Rachel unpacks and examines the falsehoods that once left her feeling overwhelmed and unworthy and reveals the specific practical strategies that helped her move past them. In the process, she encourages, entertains, and even kicks a little butt, all to convince you to do whatever it takes to get real and become the joyous, confident woman you were meant to be. With unflinching faith and rock hard tenacity, Girl Wash Your Face shows you how to live with passion and hustle and how to give yourself grace without giving up. There is a very specific chapter in here that when I say I was cruising down the freeway, ugly crying, I was ugly crying. <laughs> and I have no idea why it affected me like that, but I, I lost my mind and I could not stop crying. It was so emotional for me for some reason. There is, however, one very specific paragraph in this book that I wholeheartedly disagree with and I could literally make an entire video about that. I'm not gonna go into it here, but it's on page 79, the things that helped me section of this chapter, number five. This whole paragraph right here, I could not disagree more. But the rest of it, I love and recommend with all my heart. It's just that one little bit that I'm just like, no, no. So I do highly recommend this book. I highly recommend What on Earth Am I Here For by Rick Warren. That's also a really good one. And I also just finished listening to her very first fiction book. It's called Party Girl. It's super cute. Part of it seems like a little bit young for me. There was some more mature topics that, you know, I wouldn't be letting my 13, 14 year old daughter be listening to, but I don't know. Some of it just seemed a little bit young, childish, a little bit to me, but I did enjoy it and I recommend that one as well. As far as Audible itself goes, I am so in love with this app my car rides go by like that. The way that it works is I think you pay like $14.95 a month and per month you get one credit for a book with your $14.95 a month. But you can also purchase as many books as you want, which is what I've been doing, which is why I finished three books in the course of a couple of weeks. But, okay, so here's my library. I have The Purpose Driven Life and I have Girl Wash Your Face and Party Girl. So this is kind of what it looks like. It looks like basically any other app that you would be like listening to music on or whatever, but one of my very favorite parts of this whole app is there's a little button right here. It looks like a little car. You press the car button and it basically simplifies the screen to only the buttons that might be necessary. And that's my favorite part about this because I mainly listen to my books while I'm in the car. I have a little mount for my pop socket in my car. So this is what I see. This entire screen here is the pause or play button. Hi, I'll start tomorrow. So you can hit anywhere on that part of the screen and it'll pause it or play it. And then there's also a little sort of like rewind button where it just will roll back 30 seconds. And then I believe this is like a little bookmark button, which I don't really use that very often, but I love this part because using your phone while you're driving is insanely dangerous. I think we all know that. Some of us are guilty of it. I'm not one of those people. I really don't like to look at my phone, use my phone. I will have this screen up and a lot of times I'll have my little GPS as like a picture in picture right here if I don't know where I'm going. So this is my favorite part of the app. I love that feature. I think it's so smart. But without it, there's 
you can you know skip to the next chapter you can go ahead 30 seconds you can change the speed which i've never messed with you can go to you know all the chapters and it will show you where you are in the chapter there's a sleep timer so that you can set that in case you're listening to it and you're afraid you're gonna fall asleep you can put it on the little sleep timer so that you don't miss too much of the book it's just it's a really really phenomenal app and i highly recommend it if you want to get more into reading definitely just try audible i think your first month is free no matter what I think when you just sign up in general, your first month is free. So just try it. Let me know if you like it. Really quickly, I just wanted to give a little mini shout out to this little bad boy. I hate to wash my hands. I hate to get my hands wet. I hate to get my arms wet. I hate everything about washing my face. I, I don't like to wash my hands. I'm very lazy. I don't like, I actually, I don't like to dry my hands off. That's the part that I don't like. And so I am an avid user of hand sanitizer. I love the little pocket back hand sanitizers. These are by Bath & Body Works. And I have found my favorite scent of all time. It's the sparkling lemon cello? Limon cello. I don't freaking know, it's the lemon one. It smells so, so good. These little bad boys are usually six for five dollars or five for six dollars maybe it's six for six dollars i don't really know they're pretty cheap my one thing i wish that they sold these in like honkers because i would buy the crap out of that there's hand sanitizer all over my house it's all over my camper i have a bunch stashed at work like i am constantly constantly cleaning off my hands with my hand sanitizer i just love it this is my favorite summer spring summer scent this one's really really good all right i really quickly just want to mention these bags i happened upon these bags at meyer these are basically reusable grocery bags you know like at grocery stores you can buy for like 99 cents or whatever you can buy the little reusable bags and then take them with you so that you know it's better for the environment whatever they're reusable i happened upon these i am obsessed with these these are not 99 cents i think they're like 3.99 but i use these for everything <laughs> these are from meyer they're like the meyer brand i'm gonna have to look up where else you can find them because i know not everybody has meyers but these are basically box bags but look at how flat it gets so this is what the bag looks like when it's you know folded up but then you can undo it this is the bottom here you just fold it down and it turns it into like a box a box with handles on it i use these for everything when i go to a coffee shop to edit my youtube videos all my stuff, my laptop, headphones, everything goes in here. I use this as a gym bag. I use it for my groceries. I use these so much. My camper is currently literally like these, there will just be piles and piles of stuff in these boxes. I just love them. I think since they're only $3.99 and I get so much use out of them, that's why I have like eight of them. I have one in the trunk of my car that's full of like my window scraper, windshield wiper fluid, you know, all that crap like that, that everybody has in their car. I have mine all contained to one little area in my trunk. I just, I just love these. I love them. Now I just have a couple of drinky items to talk to you about. One is alcoholic and one is not alcoholic. I think it's kind of funny how I didn't really get onto the whole sparkling water train until I moved back home from overseas because Living overseas, if you've ever been overseas, you know that if you order a water, it's gonna be sparkling, unless you ask for still. Where I lived, there was like a lot of Americans around there, so if I ordered a Vasa, they would usually ask me still or sparkling because they knew I was an American and Americans typically just go for still. But I would usually, at restaurants, I would go for like alcohol or pop because also overseas, they charge you for water, even if it's not sparkling. If it's regular still water, you get charged. You get charged for refills, you get charged for water. So when Cam and I went out, you, we would usually just get wine or beer or stuff like that because we're paying for our drink anyway. We might as well get a little bit tipsy out of it. I just think it's funny that I didn't get into sparkling water until I moved back home because it's much more popular overseas. So that is, that is this favorite, sparkling water. I really, really like the brand Bubbly. I also do enjoy La Croix. La Croix. It's not La Croix, it's La, La Croix. I can't say it because I don't speak French very well, but it is French for, I think, the cross. This one is the peach pear flavor, which I, I don't know if I like this one that much. It tastes like something very specific that I can't exactly put my finger on. Maybe it's just pears. <laughs> La Croix is really good. I think the only real difference between these two is that La Croix does not have 
sodium in it and most bubblies I think do. This one says zero milligrams of sodium, but I think most of them have like 10 milligrams of sodium, but neither of these brands have artificial sweeteners or sugar or anything like that. If you look at the ingredients, the ingredients are carbonated water, natural flavor. <laughs> So if you're someone who's trying to kick like a soda habit or something like that, I highly recommend trying out sparkling water because it's still bubbly. You still get that carbonation satisfaction, but without all the bad stuff for you. So the sodium content is a little bit different. I would say bubbly has more cut and dry flavors like cherry or mango or, you know, just different kind of fruits. La Croix has more weird flavors. Like this one is peach pear. I think they try to be a little bit more innovative with their flavors. This one here, which I like more than I thought I would, is cantaloupe and pink grapefruit. Both flavors of which I love. I never thought of a cantaloupe flavored water being something that I would enjoy, but this one's pretty good. I do have here, I just finished my cherry bubbly, which by the way, tastes exactly like a cherry Starburst. I'm not sure if that's the red one or the pink one, but it tastes just like Starburst, like just like Starburst. And I just finished that one. And this one here is a flavor that I've never tried before. It's the apple bubbly. So I wanted to go ahead and try this flavor on camera for the first time. That'll peel my nail off first. <laughs> This one tastes just like those little suckers, those little apple caramel suckers, whatever. That's pretty good. I also really like the mango one. Yeah, this one here says 10 milligrams of sodium. The apple one has 10 milligrams of sodium. And this says zero milligrams of sodium, but I swear the box that you buy it in, you buy it in like a 12 pack, I swear it says 10 milligrams of sodium, but this says zero, whatever, I'm confused. With 10 milligrams of sodium, the bubbly is that's still better for you than like a Diet Coke, is my point. There's this little like organic market right down the street from where I work and so I'll always go in there and they sell La Croix there. So I usually go stock up before work so I have some stuff to drink while I'm at work. All right, and as far as alcohol goes, this was a recommendation from my sweet, sweet manager at work. I freaking love my manager with all my heart. She's like my work mom, that's what I call her. We were talking about wine because I, I work at like a little boutique. It's like a little privately owned boutique and we serve our customers wine. We offer beer to the guys that are like sitting there waiting for their wives to be done shopping, water, coffee, tea, whatever we offer our customers things to drink. We had some customers and they were drinking Pinot Grigio, which I've never tried. And so that just got my manager and I talking about wine. And you know, I told her that I would usually go for something a little bit more sweet. I really like my Moscato. I love my Riesling. And I would also drink Chardonnay. And she told me, that Pinot Grigio is actually a little bit sweeter than Chardonnay, which I didn't know. Basically, long story short, she told me that the Barefoot Refresh Crisp White Spritzer is her favorite, and it's the only one that she could drink without getting a headache. One of my very favorite things about this, I mean, first of all, it tastes amazing. It's really good. If you like sweet wine, you'll like it. But my favorite part about it is that this entire bottle is 343.75 calories. It's like 340 calories. That's insane for alcohol. Alcohol is pretty stinking high in calories. I am someone who logs my calories like it's my freaking part-time job. It's also 5.5%, which will get me. I could be probably two or three glasses in and feel really good. So if I drank this entire bottle, I would be extremely tipsy and I would only have 340 calories extra. Low calorie alcohol is my favorite thing to discover and this is low calorie alcohol, in my opinion. It's not like technically low calorie, but I think it's pretty low comparatively. Like if you're talking about liquor, like a shot of vodka, it can be like 100 calories. Especially if you're talking about flavored vodka, it's just, I've been learning a lot about calories in general. I've been learning a lot about wine. I've been learning a lot about alcoholic calories. I love me some vodka sodas. That's pretty much the lowest calorie cocktail, but this stuff tastes absolutely amazing. And I love that the calories and the nutrition information is right there on the bottle. Cause that is also another thing that's kind of rare in alcohol, which drives me nuts because I am a label reader. I am like a hardcore label reader. So yes, I really like it and I highly recommend it. If you're 21 or whatever the legal drinking age is in your country. Anyway, you guys, that is everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed my favorites this month. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine, and I will see you guys next time.